A few days back, I showed everyone my new Beretta 92FS Inox. Well, I guess as new as an 18-year-old gun can be. Uh, this is one of the guns that has the all stainless controls. So it's a little bit different than most Inoxes. These are a little harder to find. I've been looking for one for quite a while. I have the compact version, as I said before, and I finally found the full-size version. Well, one thing I pointed out in that video when I was showing all the stainless controls and everything was the fact that the actual grips are black plastic. That is the cheapest grip you can possibly put on this gun, one of the tackiest grips. I just don't like it. So I said I was going to change those out. Now, in that video, I kind of hinted that I would like Hogue to send me some grips, but uh, they obviously did not get my subtle hint. So I had to go out and buy some grips for this gun, and I want to take a moment today to show everyone what I bought and what they look like on the gun. What I bought was some checkered Aluma grips. I bought the basically the bare aluminum with the checkered finish on them. Uh, I want to put this on the gun. I think it's going to look really good. So let's take a moment here and put it on and we'll see what they look like. Oh, before I put the grips on, I did want to show everyone that I have put in the uh, magazines that have the uh, silver base plates on them. I think these are aluminum base plates. So this is also now not black. So let's get those grips off there so that the only thing black on the gun will be the rear sight. I did also order some hex head stainless screws here, so I will be putting these in with the new grips. Okay, so there we have it with the new grips on it. Looks pretty cool. I can't decide if I like it or not though. It's a very monotone gun now. Uh, there is one other option I can put on this gun. I haven't ordered them yet, but they make these grips in a very light, like olive drab, olive green color that I think might look awesome on this gun. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and see if these grow on me for now. And like I say, if they don't, I will switch to the uh, really light olive drab aluminum grips with the same checkering, etc., on them, just to give it a little bit more contrast between the grips and the gun. But for right now, I'm gonna leave them on here. And to be honest, I kind of like the way it looks. It really is living up to its namesake here because with these silver grips on this stainless gun, you can actually see why people often refer to this type of gun as the Beretta Ghost.